Hello ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? It is your host, the one and only one Hennis. And today guys, I bring you another absolutely awesome gameplay video over here onto Carnage Tasty's channel. That's right guys, you guys have come to expect gameplays like this from Tasty all the time. He's an absolutely insane pub stopper and this gameplay that you're about to watch is a true testament to that. What you're watching is a double nuclear playing Domination on Nuketown in a two-man party while he's using the Razorback. But not only that guys, he also gets 125 kills non-lethal, which is absolutely insane. Insane. My most kills in a single game of domination for Call of Duty Black Ops 3 is I believe 130 kills and I was using pretty much all lethal streaks if I remember correctly so for him to go and get 125 kills non-lethal in a two-man party is just absolutely insane so I really hope you guys all do enjoy this video if you guys do be sure to smack that like button it really does help Tasty's channel grow and if this is the very first video you guys have ever seen over here on Tasty's channel then be sure to drop a sub guys I can guarantee you will not want to miss any of the content that he will actually be posting throughout the rest of the life cycle of Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and even into the next Call of Duty, whatever that may be, whether it's Space Warfare or MW4 or COD Ghost 2, whatever it is, he will be an absolutely insane player in that as well and I can guarantee you, you will not want to miss any of the content that he'll be posting. And if you guys do not know who I am, my name is Carnage Hennis, I'm a commentator for Carnage Clan. If you enjoy this commentary, be sure to come check me out, I'm on that road to 7,000 subs, links down there in the description below. And without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get right into today's commentary topic. So today, what I'm actually going to go ahead and talk to you guys about is the brand new Call of Duty for 2016. Now, as you guys know, there's been a lot of speculation recently about what the next Call of Duty is actually going to be called. There's a huge bandwagon right now that's all hopping around the idea of the next Call of Duty being called Call of Duty Space Warfare, or at least having sort of a Space Warfare theme to go along with it. Now, personally, when I first heard this, I did not get very excited about this game at all. If the Space Warfare themed Call of Duty is scheduled to actually come out for the 2016 COD, I am not going to be a happy player. And I'm just going to quickly explain why my reasonings for it and just why I think it wouldn't be a good idea for Activision to actually release this as part of the Call of Duty franchise. Now, just a quick disclaimer, guys, I'm actually not against the whole idea of futuristic first person shooters, but I think there should be a limit when it comes to Call of Duties and how they're sort of intertwined and related. Obviously, Advanced Warfare was an extremely huge futuristic game that we had never really seen before in Call of Duty history. I mean, we had Black Ops 2 that came out in 2012 or 2013 I believe and that was sort of based in a futuristic setting but it was still a boots on the ground game that we all knew and loved from previous Call of Duties but then sort of Advanced Warfare came around and I think what they really tried to do is they tried to break out of that bad feeling that we all had surrounding Ghosts and sort of how boring and bland that game was and they wanted to add a lot of spice to it they wanted to make a game that was lively and fun to play so they added exosuits to the game, which honestly wouldn't have been that bad if there wasn't like reverse boosting and the advanced supply drops where you could pay to get better weapons. Honestly, I think the game as a whole wasn't too, too bad and the overall mechanics weren't necessarily terrible, but there were just some aspects about the game that Silt Chamber really tried to sort of overcorrect, I guess, that just really ended up smacking the back right in the face. And then ultimately it led to a lot of the fans not really loving the game as a result. So when I hear Call of Duty Space Warfare, I hear a game that's going, you know, be beyond a boots on the ground game, beyond an exosuit game that we saw in Advanced Warfare, and a game that's going even further into space. So we're not even going to be playing on Earth anymore. And the reason this worries me is because Call of Duty, you know, the Call of Duty makers, Treyarch, Infinity Ward, and Sledgehammer, I think what they're really trying to do is they're trying to make the game better and better, and they're trying to sort of make people more excited to play Call of Duty and give people more of an adrenaline rush when they play the game, which in my opinion is not the best way to go about making a Call of Duty. And the reason I say that is because I feel like Call of Duty might almost turn into a game that a lot of us feel almost may turn into like a drug for us or something like that and the reason I say that is because if they keep trying to add more adrenaline to the game and they keep trying to make it you know more fast paced and more exciting there's going to come a point where they won't be able to add sort of a new excitement factor in a next Call of Duty you know they may release this Call of Duty and it may be really hype and really exciting but then what are they going to do for the next Call of Duty they can't really go back in time and make a boring slow paced game because then no one's going to play it so much of what people like about Call of Duty is the fast paced nature of the game and I fear that if 
if they keep sort of adding this adrenaline factor and this idea that, you know, we can exosuit around and get across the map in 15 seconds, that people aren't really going to enjoy Call of Duty. And there's going to be this sort of end all for the Call of Duty franchise where people won't be able to be satisfied with how the game plays anymore. Now, obviously this is just my opinion. Be sure to let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. I'll definitely be interested to hear what you guys have to say. But anyways, guys, thank you all so very much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy, smack that like button. Like I said, it really does help support Tasty's channel. And if this is the very first video you guys have seen on Tasty's channel, like I said, be sure to drop a sub. He's an absolutely insane pub stopper. And if you guys watch up until this point in the video, you watch till the entire thing, go ahead and comment down below, hashtag space warfare. That'll let me know that you guys watch this entire video. Be sure to come check me out if you guys enjoyed the commentary. And ladies and gentlemen, that is all. Until next time, everybody, keep gaming as always. Stay cool. Adios.